like when her fiance Sebastian seemingly admitted to cheating on her three months after they got engaged. Fans were concerned in 2023 at the iHeartRadio Music Awards when we saw her on the red carpet without her engagement ring on. She was being honored that day at the ceremony and it happened to be the same day that her fiance Sebastian confessed that he cheated on his girlfriend of six years through Instagram. To make a statement, Becky G decided to wear a diamond ring on every finger on the red carpet. So kind of a clap back at him. You can't promise forever. You you just can't. You can't promise a lot of things in life. It's not a given. I could be, you know, knock on wood, I could be gone tomorrow. And I promise my partner forever. And I'm and, and that you know what what happens with that? Mm -hmm. You can promise to try your absolute best. Give it a hundred percent no matter what. And I think that commitment means so much more today mm -hmm. because the grass is always greener on the other right. side. No, actually, no. It's greener yeah. where you water it. Mm -hmm. And that's the mentality that I think people should have in relationships. You know, the moment you stop watering the grass, the moment it's going to die. Now, they had been together for a long time. So this uh, revelation could have come a little bit sooner. Because three months after proposing to Becky G, we saw Sebastian making this apology. Here's Sebastian's post. As an athlete, I've always tried to hold myself to a higher standard, recognizing the blessings and privileges in my career. When I reflect on the past seven years of my life, I know in my heart I couldn't have achieved a lot of my personal and professional growth, let alone navigate the challenges in my life without the love and support of Becky by my side. Yet behind this abundance, there is a reality I've hid from everything around me. I have struggled with personal trauma and acute anxiety compounded by my own denial, pride, and bad decisions. Over the last several weeks, during a moment I regret deeply, a 10-minute lapse in judgment result in an extortion plot. Ooh. Since this person did not get what they wanted, it has now become a public social media spectacle filled with more lies than any truth and false posts aimed at the love of my life. The one person who I should have never taken for granted or put at risk. So right there, he's admitting to having a 10 minute, hmm, 10 minute. That was, it was a really 10 minute lapse of judgment that I guess this person got some evidence associated and they try to get some payout because of it and it ultimately went public. He says, while this anonymous internet stalker, who I never met, unlike they claimed, had an ultimate goal that was not clear. For me, it has been a wake up call, the loudest alarm of my life. I can't keep running from demons. I know that any actions made that put us here should have never happened to begin with, pushing right up to the very boundaries of lines that should have never been crossed only hurts me and the people I love most. This past week of chaos and pain, ooh, chaos and pain, has forced me to face the consequences of my actions, my fears, and my lapses from the past have half-heartedly been participating in therapy, knowing I have deeply rooted anger and mental issues that require the same commitment and treatment that I devote to my physical well-being. If I am to be the man I aspire to be, I have to do better. I have decided to commit myself to a mental wellness program to work on the parts of me that deeply need healing. Now here is where he addresses Becky. He writes to Becky, you've been the light in my life, my strength, who has always shown me unconditional love. Instead of honoring that love every day, I've done the opposite, hurting you and disrespecting the one person I love more than anything. I am so sorry and know I have to do whatever it takes to earn back the trust. It makes me want to cry when I read this and the love you deserve. Becky had not responded to this, but Becky, you deserve better because uh, once a cheater, always a cheater. And um, But you know, she's also... She stands on trying to water the grass and keep it greener, which I actually appreciate that sentiment. I think it is very true, but at the same time, it's probably embarrassing, especially on a public like celebrity level to have this out there. It has been confirmed Becky G was cheated by Sebastian. This morning, Sebastian uploaded this to his, to his Instagram. A la chingada, bestie. If you guys read that, he regrets hurting Becky G so much and that he's joining a mental wellness program. For what? For cheating? Ay, los hombres, bestie. Ay, los hombres. No entienden. But to my girl Becky, we need a new song ASAP. Prior to this fiasco, Becky G was quoted speaking to people about her relationship status. And I don't know if this is a good sign or a bad sign. She revealed in early March to people that um, she did some Q&As on Instagram and she was talking about wedding planning and she 
said that she wants to elope, run away, and go to the mountain. Don't let anyone see you. So it seems like she just wanted to have a quick wedding, no big ceremony, which I think can sometimes make sense, obviously, like financially and things like that. But these people, they appear to be well off, and I don't know why you'd want to rush something that should be, you know, I guess it, it depends on your opinion on it. They had been together for a long time, so I feel like a proper wedding makes sense. She said, I'm in the season of really wanting to just appreciate and enjoy this phase of our relationship, their engagement. It took us seven years to get here. Beautiful years, challenging years, years of growth for both of us individually and together. And I think I'm like so hyper-focused on my career and so is he, so we're in alignment with that. That's why I think it's pretty shocking that these cheating rumors come out three months after they get engaged because these two have been together for a really long time. So I feel like they should be somewhat aware aware of whether it's like you know the right time to take that next step or if they are right with each other when speaking about her engagement she wrote that sebastian you made that dream come true talking about the love that she had wanted it was even more pure more honest more emotional more beautiful than i could have ever imagined it to feel a million times yes so she was all about it three months prior for sebastian it was a wake-up call as he said in his apology the cheating rumor surfaced on instagram when a user claimed that sebastian had a secret date out at a club with a woman in madrid the social media user alleged that they had receipts of the affair including video audio text and more whoever was making this post on social media wrote to becky g posting Sebastian, your boyfriend cheated on you in February. I have all the proof. I can send them to you privately. A lot of press is contacting me because I will not remain silent. The post includes a brief video and a voice message that Sebastian had reportedly sent the girl that he was cheating on Becky G with. Me dio un pánico y dije, wow, no, no puedo estar haciendo esto, estoy en relación y era un momento débil que, bueno, te mandé mensaje y, um, y, y pero ahora me... Now, Becky did respond to these rumors or I guess these allegations. I feel like they're more than even rumors because we do have some receipts, but she responded in her own way. She was performing at a music festival when she told the crowd, sometimes things don't go the way that you plan. She said, I'll just say that, but sometimes it's not rejection, it's redirection. Of course, she wasn't wearing her engagement ring and it had been a minute since she's been seen with it. Here is what Becky said during her performance. Sometimes don't things don't go the way you plan i just say that but sometimes it's not rejection it's redirection now of course this moment went viral because people knew what she was talking about one person wrote man i'm genuinely sad i wanted it to work for them but sebastian fumbled a true queen becky deserves more another person wrote sebastian in tears at home lmao and a lot of people took this as confirmation that becky was back on the market this person wrote she fully confirmed that she is back being single i feel bad for her though she really loved him one person noted that she was singing differently now she has a song with carol g a fellow G, Becky and Carol G, but she performed it without Carol and the lyrics read, don't call me again. I even threw away my cell phone from how toxic you are. It became harmful. What goes, goes. This person tweeted, if Shakira and Becky G have taught me anything, it's to never trust a soccer player. Stay safe out there, guys. Because Shakira had also been cheated on by a soccer player, but you know what? Not all soccer players are bad. I feel like, you know, maybe... David, I don't know. I don't really know many soccer players. Maybe David Beckham. I think he's a good guy, right? I think so. Either way, Becky ended up reuniting with Sebastian seven months after his cheating rumors were made public. The pair were seen out at Porter Ranch in Los Angeles seven months after the star was accused of cheating on her. Looked like they were at a local farmer's market. They got some coffee together and browsed the stalls before walking back to the parking lot. Now, this interaction happened in mid-November and by December, they were back together. Headlines read, Becky G and her fiance Sebastian were fully back together after being in a really bad place. A source told Us Weekly, the duo who got engaged back in December 2022 are back together. They were in a really bad place, I mean, quite literally, and she ghosted him for a couple of days, but that was about it. According to the source, Becky G has been in Dallas with him whenever she has a break from tour, and they're fully back together. Becky G and her fiance Sebastian are back together after an alleged cheating scandal. 
which wasn't alleged, but I ain't getting sued. And this is one of those reasons why I, to this day, say that Pisces is the most stubborn sign of the Zodiac. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's unpack it, okay? I know that Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, all the fixed signs, Taurus, they all get the rep for being really, really stubborn, but Pisces, Pisces is the most stubborn sign of the Zodiac because a Pisces will hold on to the delusion of a person that they met. They'll hold on to the illusion of the person that they fell in love with. Like, this is a Pisces Venus in love. Look at how she looks at him. Like, like he can do no wrong. So a lot of Becky G's fans were disappointed to see she was back with this man who hurt her so badly. This person wrote on Reddit, I don't understand why so many beautiful, successful women get back together with their shitbag exes. They write, I'm sure Hollywood is full of fakes, but so is your man in the bedroom. This person writes, it's a lot less effort to stick around someone you already know than do the whole painful, so what's your favorite color? Dating phase. So uh, people think that she's back with him out of convenience. I mean, she is a celebrity, so it's probably not that easy to find someone and to date them casually. As of now, it seems like Becky G and her fiance, Sebastian, appear to still be together. Despite facing all those challenges, they are holding on to their relationship and they have been spotted in public together. Now, I'm not sure if that means their engagement is back on but we wish the best for becky in that situation because there are too many terrible men out here taking advantage of women thank you for watching this clip from the let's get into a podcast to view the full episode visit the link listed below